in a 3 bit output counter and the input to you is a clock signal and a 3 bit input counter. Let me show you what is the expected output and what is the input given to you. This is the clock, this is input counter which counts from 00 to 001 then 010 so on till 111 then this counter rolls over to 000 value and this way it keep on running. Now friends you have to design an output counter from this input counter which should run ahead in time. When the input counter is 000 it should have 001 and so on. This input counter can be a free running counter or it may be counting any particular event. Friends now you people can pause my video here and try to think of its answer. Its solution is very very simple it is just to confuse you people. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. Okay, let me reveal its answer. This is a input 3 bit counter. I already told you that it can be a free running counter or in this particular case, I have considered this input trigger signal. Whenever there will be a pulse on this trigger signal, it is incrementing its value. Now, in its solution, you simply need to put an incrementer or adder which will increment its input by 1 and this will be your final 3 bit output counter. Let us move to your next question. In this second question also you have to design a 3 bit output counter and when the input is same as illustrated in the previous example you have a clock signal and an input counter and the input counter is running from 000 to 111 and then rolls back to 000 and keep on running like this. And it can be a free running counter or it can be counting any a particular event. Now you have to design an output counter. When input counter is at 000, output counter is at 111. When input counter is 001, output counter is 110 and so on. Friends answer of this question is also very easy. You may write down in the comment section if anything, any solution comes to your mind. Otherwise, I am going to reveal its answer. Friend, this is input counter as illustrated in the previous example. Now we simply have to put NOT gate on all the outputs of this counter and you will get the desired 3 bit counter. Now let us move to your next question. Friends, this is the last question of this video. This question is already covered in a separate series on Verilog and VHDL quiz. But because this question is related to digital design, so I thought of repeating it here. In this question, you have to design a logic to stretch an input pulse for 3 clock cycle. Let me explain it in more detail with the help of these waveforms. This is the clock signal which is input to our logic. And this is the input signal which will always be in the form of pulse as shown in a figure. And whenever there will be a pulse on this input signal, on the output, a pulse should be generated but it should last for 3 clock cycles as shown in a figure. Similarly, whenever there will be a pulse on this input signal, at all the times there should be a generation of pulse on the output signal which should last for 3 clock cycles. Friends, you can take your time to think of its answer. Meanwhile, you can pause my video. Otherwise, I will let you know its answers. Okay, let me reveal its answer. This will be the final solution final logic to stretch an input pulse by 3 clock cycles as requested in the question. So this is the pulse signal. We have to put 3 flops and output of all the flops we need to give to an OR gate and output of this OR gate will be a stretched pulse. Friends with this I am going to complete this video and I hope that this would be quite informative and interesting for all of you. And in future, we will create many such videos. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel and to get the notification of all the videos as early as possible. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your support means a lot to us.